on safari in Kaziranga National Park with the Cambridges. And what's this? Has something been spotted lurking in the bushes? Maybe it's a photographer. But no, on the road just ahead, the Indian one-horned rhinoceros, just one of the wild creatures in these parts. In fact, there are lots of rhinoceroses here, some 2,000 of them, as well as Bengal tigers, leopards and elephants. Not for nothing is this a World Heritage Site. But animals like that attract the unwelcome attention of poachers. It's a problem. Half things being half things being half things being guys. William and Catherine met some of the park rangers who try to keep the poachers at bay. Do you patrol in pairs or just one of you? No. no. The park authorities believe they have the upper hand, despite the fact that the horn of the Indian rhino is marketed, bogusly of course, as being more potent than that of the African rhino. It's a continuing struggle to protect the park's wildlife. After a quick change out of their safari gear, William and Catherine went to a local village. There were welcoming garlands and a quick lesson in weaving. William looked baffled. Kate was curious. At a centre for wildlife conservation, they were shown baby elephants and rhino, animals some of which have been orphaned by poachers. The couple helped to feed them, touching images which will be on many front pages. But there is a serious point to all of this, to highlight the damage being done by poaching to creatures like these. Up to now, William's anti-poaching charity has been focused mostly on Africa. He now knows the scale of the problem here in India. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, Kaziranga National Park.